just want to take a moment to address the elephant in the room for those of you uh, watching. You might be wondering, you know what, this is a Philly sports themed podcast, more or less, you're a Philly sports fan. What is that you're wearing? If you're listening, I'm wearing a Yankees t-shirt. What's the deal with that? Okay, let me explain. I am a Yankees fan. I am a Philly sports fan. I grew up in the Philadelphia area, 4 for 4 Eagles, Sixers, Phillies, Flyers, because that's what I grew up around. Also, my papa, my grandfather, my dad's dad, Bobby Robert Chast, the man, the myth, the legend, he grew up in the Bronx, New York. He was born in 1929, lived in the New York in the 30s. He kind of was there for the pinnacle of baseball. He met Babe Ruth on the sidewalk. He was in the stadium for Lou Gehrig Day. He used to go buy tickets for baseball games for three cents or whatever. He's as legit a Yankees fan as it gets. And when I was being raised, he used to babysit me, and I would grow up watching the core four at his house, Derek Jeter, Andy Pettit, Mariano Rivera, Jorge Posada, that whole gang. So he, as I was growing up, and I loved, always loved sports, he kind of taught me to be a Yankees fan. And up until 2009, there was no beef with the Phillies and Yankees. So it was very simple. I was a fan of both teams. And to explain or express how deep and how true of a Yankees fan he was, I will tell you, a story about my pop-up that he wrote for me. He's got a ton of stories. Right now, I'm just going to read this one. I might read more later. And it's about how he met the babe, Babe Ruth. <clears throat> this is my pop-up, Robert Chast. Well, I was about six years old. And my dad and I were on one of our long Sunday walks. We had covered the two and a half miles from our house, and we were living, and we were walking along the street opposite the Yankee Stadium's player's entrance when the long black Packard pulled up the curb. My dad had just been telling me about the fact that the stadium had been built right across the Harlem River from the Giants' polo grounds, on purpose. You see, he told me the Yankees had been leasing the field from the Giants to play in while the Giants were playing away games. But the Yankees began outdrawing and outselling the Giants on their own field. And the Giants' manager, John McGraw, could not stand it. He canceled the Yankees' lease and bought up all the possible ball ballparks in Manhattan. On their turn, the owners of the Yankees, the two colonels, Jacob Ruppert, and this is a fun name, Tillinghast Lehamadou Houston, or Huston, bought land in the Bronx and in 1923 opened up a modern steel and concrete stadium modeled on the Coliseum in Rome, thus building Yankee Stadium. But to get back to that Packard, the door opened and out stepped a heavily built man wearing a camel's hair overcoat with a matching cap. He was headed for the Yankees players' entrance. In a low voice, my father said to me, that man was the babe. Bobby, why don't you go across the street and say hello? So I did. Hello, babe, I chirped. Hello, kid, he answered back. And that's how I met Babe Ruth. So, if that doesn't provide enough evidence as to my pop-ups, Yankee fandom, and as to why that has been passed on to me, I don't know what will, but trust me, I'm a fan of all of the teams in Philly and the Yankees. It's doable. It's possible. I don't know what else to tell you. That's just the way it is. I don't know. Thanks for watching. To salute you, the greatest fans in the world. And with these words, Jeter removed his cap to salute the crowd, while behind him, his teammates did the same. Thank you for your attention.